Okay, so today we're going to try to fix a problem where, especially on a new install on Windows 11, we cannot download any files. So you'll find that you try to download something, and it shows that it's up here, and it's almost at 100%, or it's at 100%, but it's not completing the download. That's especially noticeable on Edge, where you try to download something, you got that progress bar, but you're not able to actually complete the download. So... This is what I found that works, and I've tried this on three different Windows 11 computers, is we're going to run Check Disk. Now, most of the guys are going to say to get to Check Disk, you hit Search, and then you're going to be able to type in Search. But when this is occurring, the Search button also doesn't work. So, so we're going to right-click on the Start button. So it shows this menu. We're going to go to File Explorer. And it's going to be very similar for Windows 11. Just uh, It might say Explorer, and it might be down here in the middle. But just right-click on this, go to Explorer. Then you're going to go to your C drive for whatever your Windows install is on. Windows, System32, and we're going to look for, you can see there's a lot of files in here. And we're going to look for one that says cmd.exe, right there. Right-click on that and hit Run as Administrator. Okay, so now we're going to type in check disk without any vowels, so it's chkdsk space forward slash r. So what this is going to do is it's going to run a check disk on the hard drive and it's going to repair any problems. So now it shows this error. We just hit yes and then hit enter. So now as soon as you restart, it's going to perform that task. So we go to start, power, restart. And as soon as the computer restarts, it's going to show you a message that says press any key to skip check disk. You just don't do anything, let it continue, and it's going to take anywhere between 15 minutes and a few hours to actually complete. What that's going to do is it's going to check everything that's on the hard drive. So the more stuff you have on the hard drive, the longer it's going to take. But also, uh, you know, just the speed of the components is going to make it take longer or less long. But when it's done, it's going to reboot the computer, and then you should have full control of your computer again. Now, what you'll notice when you're done is usually if you go to Start, Settings, everything that you see here is going to be on the left side. So on the very bottom, you're going to see Update and Security. So you click on that. And even if you'd said up to date before, it's going to say that there's a couple of things that needs to update now. So I think that's the entire reason it's doing this is it's trying to update, but it's not able to do it. And so that's locking up your computer. So go ahead and check for updates and then let it finish and then you'll be done. Oh, there we go. I had one anyway. So check for updates, get that update, and then you'll be done. So hope that helps.